Industry player talks about partnership. In a recent report by FixExtra, Vivek Awasthi, the chief information officer at a rain exchange broker and international payment provider called Currencies Direct talked about the company's partnership with Ripple in the establishment of XCurrent in Indian corridors. XCurrent, which is a product under RippleNet, assists its customers in tracking and settlement of the payments. According to Awasthi, the leading blockchain fintech firm, Ripple reflects the future for the industry of international remittances and demonstrates the role of technology in enhancing customer experience. In his words, our partnership with Ripple showcases the future of international payments and how technology can greatly improve the customer experience. When you think about the vast volumes of money that are being transferred around the world and to India specifically, it's only right that customers have the ability to check the status of their funds at every stage. In a continued statement, Awasthi also opined that X Current is suitable for a versatile customer base, from a trader to a financial director as well as controller. Furthermore, the technologist believes that X Current could be the trump card in the remittance sector. He stated, Heather you're a consumer, sole trader, financial director or controller, people always want to have visibility of their money and we see X Current as a game changer for payments. Earlier this year, Currencies Direct announced the results of their test with another product by Ripple, XRapid, wherein the pilot was announced back in the year 2017. During the time of the announcement of the results, Brian Harris, an official from Currencies Direct also expressed that his company was proud to be early adopters of the blockchain technology in the industry. Metatron, a cryptocurrency and blockchain space follower on the news stated, his pretty impressive because India is not fond of crypto another Twitter handle named XRP2020 also commented, appreciating the ecosystem. The user wrote, hey keep building. Ripple's XRP could be the biggest winner of BAKKT and NASDAQ futures launch. Since CME made Bitcoin futures available on December 18, 2017, Bitcoin's price dropped. On December 17, 2017, the price peaked at $19,911. The rest is history. Since then, we have spent a lot of time reflecting on the question of how Bitcoin futures will exactly impact the crypto market, in particular the prices of cryptocurrencies. The recent breakthrough of Ripple was a revelation that may have provided the answer to so many musings. With the introduction of Bitcoin futures, traders could start selling short. Then, only Bitcoin physical trading was possible. Any sale was primarily the reason for the profit taking. The vicious sales in Bitcoin are nothing new, in the early days they were also aggressive. But the market can now be actively traded on two sides, a totally different dynamic. This is, of course, a fundamentally important change, which must be considered by the crypto investors. There are three fundamental catalysts for the XRP token, one of which is institutional investment. Highly anticipated institutional services about to be launched in the beginning of 2019 are BAKKT and NASDAQ. Both services will initially list Bitcoin but it won't be long before we see additional coins offered. Let's see which ones will look most appealing to the institutional investors. If you were an institution with millions of dollars to invest, which crypto would you choose? Obviously. You would apply the principle of all risk, high reward. So, by doing the exercise from an institution's perspective and looking at the three cryptocurrencies to invest from the current top 10 available for trading, we can say, we already know that a coin will be first asset to be listed, it is the bellwether of crypto world, a propeller for the whole industry. It will probably make up the largest portfolio of any institution who will use BAKKT and NASDAQ services to buy digital currencies. Ethereum has become too big and fundamentally too important to ignore. It's a simple concept, growth is clear and the outlook is positive. The negative point is the fact that a large part of its developers are dependent on it. Ripple, it is the only coin company with so many reputable customers. RippleNet's customer list is impressive, comprised of couple of major international banks. Ripple is the most advanced crypto company, both in terms of maturity and in terms of technological adoption which also offers a coin. Bitcoin Cash, 
There is still no clear enough answer as to what Bitcoin Cash is trying to achieve, so obviously it would not be pre-selected. EOS, while the expansion of EOS is impressive, there may be two aspects that create a barrier with Western institutions. First EOS is very technical in nature and secondly, there is a lot of activity and focus in Asia, and this may seem like a lack of transparency. Stellar Lumens, this is a fast-growing crypto initiative. Stellar's recent acquisition of Chain makes it a more reliable cryptocurrency. They now have clients such as Visa, Citigroup and Nasdaq. Litecoin, we lack clarity about the adoption and future growth of Litecoin. The fact that the founder sold his holdings last year does not give much confidence. Tether, while Tether's cap increase has been truly spectacular, it seems that the added value is more difficult to explain. The accusations of manipulation explained in Wiki would make any institution very nervous. Hat is the real long-term differentiator. Cardano, difficult to express Cardano's true added value. It is difficult for institutions to understand in a way that will be tempting to invest in it. Monero, it has an easy concept to understand. There is added value in the private aspect of digital money. However, there is a lack of transparency and adoption, and we consider this to be a serious problem for institutional investors. Conclusion, after doing this exercise, for institutional investors, the highest level of confidence will probably be for Ripple and its token XRP, followed by Bitcoin, Ethereum and Stellar Lumens. While short selling is likely to limit the extreme growth potential in Bitcoin, which is now becoming a more mature investment vehicle, we believe that capital will continue to seek 100 times higher returns.